everyone. It's Gail and here with a little craft with me slash update on what's next um, as I'm going out of town. But first I wanted to give a little hi and hugs to Nan, Gracie, Maggie, and Brenda. Thanks for watching and thanks for your wonderful comments. You guys, it means the world. So I thought I better do a little update because this will be my last video for a while um, as I am doing a couple of things. We're going to pick up granddaughters and head to our son's house so that um, both sets of girls can play for the weekend. We're going to do that and then we're going to come home, pack our bags and we're heading to my daughter's house in Denver. So um uh likely the next video will be october 17th maybe that's the day we get home so if i get it together and i'm able to make one but i wanted to talk to you about what's next so what will be coming up once i get back um before we do a little playing here today so um so first off, let's talk about <laughs> my list of to-dos. So this little book, isn't that so sweet? It's a little, um, it's a little primer, a little, little kid's reading book. And that is my next um, project. It's going to be kind of a, a combination. It's, it's a custom order, but I'm going to use it as my, um, TLC Creations Guest Design Team Project too. So that's the next journal I'll be working on for that. And then also I have a Guest Design Team Project coming up for my old barn door also. So those, those are the big journals that I'll be working on. Um, when I get home, I wanna get busy on my next series. And my next series, I decided I was going to do a series on how I make multiple journals at one time. How I organize myself, what what I do, you know, each step of the way. And I thought I'd do a series and just make them together with you. My thought is maybe um, when I'm doing a certain process, just do two or three journals because it is really repetitious and I don't want it to be boring. So, um, but so what I'm going to do is I have orders for lavender, um, traveler's notebooks. So I have the papers cut out. So, um, those, those will be the main thing that we do. Although I'm thinking about adding in, I've got this awesome, awesome paper from um, Stamperia and I've already cut I've already cut the covers look at that paper you guys is that not amazing so those are going to be the covers so three travelers notebooks out of this Stamperia paper which oh it is just it is so luscious and I love it you know it's um, turquoise and pink so I love the colors and it's just got really just stunning images, I think. Look at those. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful paper. So anyhow, I'm um, going to do the Christmas journals out of that. So all together, let's see. I think I did, I think I have six um, lavender ones and then the three Christmas ones. So that's going to be my next series that I do is how I organize and create multiples of the same sort of journal. So, so that'll be coming up when I get back. And then, um, what I'm kind of working on the next couple days in between getting ready to go and all of that is I've, um, I asked you if you were interested in snippets in my shop and you said yes so I'm working on that so for instance this is this is kind of the autumn autumn one that I put together and it's just 
It's little pieces of, um, of fabric that in this case are autumn colored. Um, I'm doing, you know, various colors, pink, blue, turquoise, green, yellow, you know, various colors too. So those are going to be kind of the snippet packs. I'm also going to do some fabric bundles. So Christmas, um, this one, this one is Christmas shiny, <laughs> blingy Christmas. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it's a, it's a bunch of shiny scraps and pieces for Christmas. And then I'll have some that are more, you know, just coordinating fabrics that, you know, are just fun together. So that's what I've been working on. You should see my family room. It's a disaster because I have, I have snippets everywhere. But I thought we would um, work on doing, I wanted to, I thought I would include when people buy, um, a snippet pack I thought I would include a fabric collage with that just as you know kind of inspiration for them to do their own so I thought that's what we'd work on today and um, hopefully we can just we can just have a chat and work a little bit but um, anyway I'm excited about the those and then I also so when I'm gonna put my shop on vacation but when I get back, I am going to, um, once I get back, I am going to do like a reopening and I have some really awesome vintage magazines to put in the shop and, um, just some, just some different things like that. So I'm, I'm excited actually to have a little time to work. It's crazy how long it takes to you know, get, get things prepared for your Etsy shop, like taking the pictures, you know, getting it all set up, weighing it, deciding how much it weighs. And yeah, it's just, uh, there's a lot to it really. And so, um, but yeah, so I've, I've got, I had a big thing of, um, of scraps that I had here in the craft room but I also had one upstairs in what used to be my sewing room before I got everything moved down here. And, um, oh my gosh, it's, <laughs> it's a big old bucket. It's a cool old vintage bucket. And I'm thinking, gosh, if I got all those scraps out of there, I could use that as a decoration in my house. <laughs> so, you know. So there's some pluses to not having 5 million scraps everywhere. Um, yeah. So, but as well, I have those vintage things and I think I have some Christmas things that I might relist that were listed last year, but last year, last year I didn't have as many viewers and I didn't have as many people come into my shop. So. Um, just some tags and things like that that might be kind of fun and yeah so anyway anyway that's what I've been doing I've been catching up been catching up on the voice and going through my scraps and working on getting them situated so anyway so doing the fabric clusters once again I'm trying not to think too much but that is a difficult little task for this girl and these were just these were some other Christmas bits that I had in my drawer I wonder maybe I'll use a little of this on there that'd be fun wouldn't it yeah so anyways that's what I've been doing it is cold here today and um sounds like it's going to be cold when we get to Colorado too to my daughter's so we're not going to escape the cold by any means by going <laughs> and and so yeah so we um it's it's going to be it's going to be chilly but that'll that's okay I'm excited to 
hang out with her and um, see her boys and everything. Okay, so there's one, there's one done. It's got five pieces. That's what I try to do is five pieces. And then I'll put something as the focal point kind of on the top there. But yeah, so anyways, yeah, we're, we're trying to, you know, do stuff like stop our mail and, you know, things like that to try and get, trying to get ready to go here. So, um, but I said to my husband, I need to do a video to say goodbye to my peeps and that I'll be back and let them know what I kind of have in mind. I'm excited to do the series on multiples. It's because like, as you know, I did a big thing of, I did a thing of multiples at, um, at my retreat and yeah, that was good. It was, it was, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, as I've told a couple of you, I think I'm organized to the extreme and that helps a lot. But I'm hoping maybe to give you some tips that if you're not naturally naturally as crazy organized as as I seem to be, then I think there'll be I think there'll be some helpful tips along the way. Um Yeah, so So got the autumn journal in the mail today, and so it's going off to its new owner which is so fun. I hope she likes it. And it was fun in my last couple videos for you to be telling me, ooh, look at that, that's a, that's a quilt square. I love finding surprises <laughs> in, my, in my fabric scraps. Um, anyway, it was fun hearing from you guys what all you guys have been working on lately. There's a good one. That just I'm a little I'm a little too straight up and down. Need to need to work on doing some slanting here and there. Ooh, I love these. I love these where you get the the numbers on the edge of the fabric. I was thinking about doing a a baggie of those two because I have a bunch I have a bunch but that's cool that would be cool on there Except I might want one more thing underneath I'm not sure um yeah so anyway anyway that's what's happening in my world getting ready to travel and getting a few things done. somebody one of the subbies said Oh no, you and Diane Nature are going to be gone at the same time. <laughs> and yes, my friend Diane is going to be gone. So, um, so yeah, we are going to be gone at the same time. So it'll be, yeah, but there's so many wonderful people on YouTube to watch. So I'm sure it will be just fine. I kind of like that one. That one's a little little crazier, not so straight up and down. Ooh, I like, those are bright and happy. Look at that, whew, that's a bright one too. I like it. I'm gonna cut it right here. And make kind of a longer one out of it. Oh, this is another this is another um, quilt square from my friends, the quilters. They're so great to share their scraps with me. And now I'll be sharing them with you guys. Finding some things at the bottom there. Yeah, so hopefully the people who who order my little 
little scrap buckets. They'll have seen these cluster making videos and want to make some for themselves. So yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's a pretty red one, isn't it? Oh, and here's a here's a Raggedy Ann and Andy piece. I love this fabric. It's so perfect for the Raggedy Ann and Andy little golden books. So you guys, I have to tell you, I was saying it was cold outside, <clears throat> which it is. But my husband and I, we just got back from a walk and the birds were like going completely crazy in our, um, in our yard. The, there was just like so many birds and I'm thinking it means we're going to get a bit of a cold snap or something, you know? So, yeah. And <laughs> this morning I looked out the window and, um, a magpie and a squirrel were just having quite a time out there. I, I couldn't tell if they were playing or if they were angry. <laughs> it was it was tough to tell. So, yeah. I love making these. It's just kind of zen. So after I get done with this video, I think I'm going to, well, I'm still working on my snippet packs for you guys, but um, then I might do a little, do a little more catching up on TV and and um, do some more. Mm hmm what else on you? Maybe a little lace. This little lace is just in my snippets. I think I also might do some um, snippet bags that are from my actual snippet bins that's lace and ribbon and cheesecloth and who knows what else. Just kind of have them be little surprise um things of little bitty snippets that can be used for snippet trims. I was thinking about that too because I I think I'm get you know, I do this and I think I'm using up and maybe I'm using a little bit, but oh, I still have so much more. And every time I go to the fabric store, it's just like paper. Every time I look at paper, I see more and more stuff that I want um, that I want to make, you know, and, and then, or that I want to have in my stash. And then it's like, oh, I just, I love that. I think I might just rip off a, a bit of it. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any problem keeping enough snippets to do what I need to do <laughs> around, you know. So, I might as well might as well share some others. That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. I want a little bit of maybe this Uh, yeah, so, so anyway, I'm thinking about just randomly grabbing into my buckets and filling a, like a sandwich bag and having those be there too. Because I specially heard from people who are kind of new at the junk journal thing, um, they just don't have a lot of scraps 
I've heard from a few people who got rid of all their scraps. <laughs> that is something I would totally do. Get rid of the scraps and then be like, oh, darn, I wish I had that scrap back. Oh. That's kind of fun, isn't it? This is, this is the piece that I made to show Jamie how to do a ruffle. Maybe I'll just put that at the top of here. I think I will. Um, actually, I'm going to glue it just because I don't necessarily, I usually cover up the staples and I don't necessarily want to put like something here and something here, you know. So let's just, let's just take a minute and glue that on. Isn't it so fun, though, how quickly you can make these, you know? I mean, what do I have there? Six of them, maybe, or something? And all they really need, the only thing they need is their little focal point of some sort. And they'll be just right. Yeah, that's really fun. Cool. Okay. So yeah, I just thought, I thought another way for me to kind of pare down some of my stash of stuff is to do some, do some fabric collages and then just include those as my thank you gift if people buy the snippets. And then people can do whatever they like in terms of, um, you know, attaching them to cardstock or just doing whatever they might want to do to um, use them up, you know. A little that's a little chenille scrap there which is always fun what's this hmm. and this one I'll just do staple right in the middle of it. Hold on, I need a red. I need something a little more um, neutral or something. like some music. Okay. Wow, I kind of was all thumbs with that one. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll just put a little flower in the middle of that or something. This is a great piece. It's all kind of split the difference a little bit there. Let's get crazy and make that go sideways. One, two, three, four, fives. Okay. Was feeling like there wasn't enough there, kind of. Okay. Okay. So we are at about 24 minutes. I don't know how long you guys really want to watch me watch me doing this, but um. 
I'll do, I'll do one more here and then fabric. Look at this fabric. It's cute. This one's super shaggy on the edges. I like that. Um, let's Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. So I hope that while I'm away, I'm going to show you all these while I'm talking. Um, while I'm away, I hope you'll look at some of my old videos. I realized the other day that I have over 400 videos out there. And so... So there's a few for you to look at while I'm gone if you're so inclined and I'd love it if you would. I'll have time to look and um you know and answer comments and stuff while I'm at my daughter's I'm sure. So um so yeah, I hope you'll watch some of those older videos and hopefully YouTube will notify me when I have a comment. Sometimes that doesn't happen. And I'm like two months later and I see a comment. I, I don't like it when that happens. I want to be want to be more on it than that. But so then there's this one. So what did we do? We did two, four, six, eight. We did ten. We did ten fabric collages in just about 20 minutes so it is a quick little project so anyway um watch my old videos i hope to be chatting with you while i'm gone and then on the 17th i'll i'll post something or another and then um i'll have new stuff in my etsy soon and a new series and um and work on other journals coming so thanks everybody for watching have a great couple of weeks until I see you again. Love you all. Bye-bye.